Hi, I'm Valanda, and I'm coming at you from Central Valley, California. I am so excited to be a part of the community of the Real Women of Philadelphia. So, it's Side Dish Week. And for one reason or another this week, I didn't think I was going to get my video done on time. But I kept hearing this little voice in my head saying, get off that couch and get in your kitchen and start whipping something up. Well, in my case, I need to get off the computer. I'm so addicted to the Real Women of Philadelphia website, I'm afraid to move. I'm afraid something's going to happen. <laughs> anyway, I decided to get in the kitchen and whip something up for my side dish. So, trying to figure out what I'm going to make, I started going through my stack's recipes. And lo and behold, I came across one of my favorite Paula Deen recipes. It's something that I make every Thanksgiving, and it is a cranberry pineapple jello mold. Now, if you've never made this, you need to jump off your couch and make it. This dish is so beautiful, and it comes out in a mold, and in the center of it, she puts this cream cheese and walnut mixture. And so when you slice it, you get that jello and you get that, that cream cheese in the middle part of it. Oh, that's the best part. It's kind of like a root beer float where you have that creaminess that everybody loves. Okay, well. I decided what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and incorporate all those flavors from that recipe and come up with my own. So I'm going to show you my sweet side. And it is a cranberry pineapple fluff salad. I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay, but first let me show you what my ingredients are. I've taken a can of crushed pineapple and I've drained it thoroughly. Stick it through a sleeve, push out all the juices, wring it in a paper towel, whatever you got to do to get those juices out because you don't want your salad to be runny. Okay, very important. Then what I did was I've taken uh, frozen cranberries and you can either thaw them out or you can run them under hot water. Okay, and what I did was I took two cups of cranberries and I mixed them in my food processor with um, a tablespoon or two of sugar. So that's what we have right here, is um, that nice tart cranberries, okay? I've got walnuts, and I decided I wanted a bit of a crunch, so I diced up a stalk of celery, and um, this doesn't add, the, add to the flavor, but it definitely adds to the texture and the crunch of the salad, okay? Then I've got the star Philadelphia cream cheese, over here that I'm going to be mixing up with some powdered sugar and milk and um, some whipped topping and anyway let me show you how I do this because it's so good. Okay let's take our Philadelphia cream cheese and put that in a bowl here and it's softened and we're going to whip that up until it's nice and creamy. And this adds a nice creamy texture to it as well. I told you it was a fluffy salad. So you're going to add that in to your cream cheese mixture. And then we're going to give that a nice stir. Work all that in there. Okay, so let's start assembling the salad. I'm going to take this bowl and I'm going to add my pineapple and my cranberries. Put it right in the bowl. These cranberries give this a nice, beautiful color too. Then I'm going to add my stalk of celery that I've got chopped up. Okay, we're just going to give that a mix. Okay, 
how beautiful that looks already. Those nice colors. Beautiful. With that creamy Philadelphia cream cheese and everything else that we're putting in this is just beautiful salad. I'm going to take another bowl and I'm going to add my cream cheese mixture right into this bowl. I suppose I could have just poured that right in here, but I'm going to add another layer of whipped topping. And you want to just kind of fold it in. So now that we have that, we're going to take our beautiful cranberries and celery and pineapple, just like this. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my whipped cream out of the refrigerator. So we're going to just fold this in, a whole container of whipped topping. Just going to lightly fold all of that in. Look how pretty that looks. That cranberry, the sugar took the tartness away from the cranberries. This is so delicious. The first time I made it, I ate half of the bowl before I even got it in the refrigerator. It was so good. <laughs> okay. You know, another thing that I have to tell you about the website <clears throat> that I just feel is so amazing is we're not just talking recipes. We're talking about our lives, our families. Um, the tornadoes that happened back east. Um, how, how to donate to help those folks out. But something personally for me was I had mentioned what a great timing, great timing this was for this contest because my son's away uh, training for the Marines. And I've had this roller coaster of emotions going on. And I, I mentioned that on, on, on one of the forums there. And I was just amazed at how many people responded saying thank you and for um, just giving me the support and love that I needed at the time. And it just, it really just, it really meant a lot to me. So, okay, before I start getting all teary-eyed and everything, let's finish the salad. Um, I'm going to add the walnuts in last. And you're just going to keep folding that in. And I'm going to show you two ways to serve this dish. Can you just look at the beautiful colors of this salad? And it's nice and fluffy. It's gonna have great texture. You could eat this right now. Okay, in fact, I'm just gonna grab my spoon and take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Crunch from the celery, the walnuts, the flavors pop from the cranberries. It's awesome. Now I'm going to show you a pretty way um, that you can chill this. And I've taken a muffin pan, Texas size, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the muffin pan. I'm going to take the salad and I'm going to add it right in. And you want to just get it nice and flat right in there. And I've sprayed this with cooking spray so that this will fall out beautifully. Okay, just put that in there like that. Then you can pop this in the freezer for about five minutes. No, let's say 10, 10 minutes at the most. Now this doesn't freeze in the freezer, but it sure chills it. And then they fall right out of this muffin tin, and I'm gonna show you a real pretty way to present this. making a mess. But hey, we're real women, right? Cooking. We're really cooking here. Okay, I'm going to pop this in the freezer. And the other one I'm going to put in to the refrigerator just to let it chill. And I'm going to be back in a flash and show you how to plate this up. So you can either serve it in a bowl or on a pretty leafy lettuce.